All right, guys, welcome back to the Bigger Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Kevin in the chair. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, you? You're good? I'm very well, thanks, man. So, what are we doing? What's the plan? Um, so, normally I like to go for, like, um, messy, textured look. Yeah. I do like to keep it, like, not too, like, right now it's a bit too long, I think. Oh, okay. I just want to trim it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like to keep the top a bit longer than the sides as well. Okay. Um, so, yeah, keep this a bit shorter, closer yeah. to the to the side, um, to the face. Yeah. And for the back, it's quite long. Um, I think I want to get rid of that. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, I want to see what you think, obviously, but okay, I yeah. have had this for a bit and it is getting a bit long. Okay, no worries. I mean, it, so the shape you're rocking at the moment, do you still want to keep the same kind of style, though? Absolutely. So where you've got like, the kind of tapered sides, longer back, longer top, is that the kind of thing you still want to work with? Or so do you I, want to... I normally don't taper it, but like the most recent time I did, and that's why I kind of grew out like this. Okay. Um, Are you not a fan of it? You, you're not, like, not, yeah. not really, but I mean... Okay, okay. If, you, if, I, if I shoot the back and sides now, mm. right? So... It's a very strong look, right? Yeah. It's very much as you see it, right? Long back, it's almost very wolf cut, mullets kind of idea, you know? Is that the thing you were trying to achieve or do you want to get away from that now? Yeah, no, I, I was going for that. You were going for that, okay. Um, now I'm trying to go away from it. Trying to go away from yeah. that a little bit. All right, cool, cool. How would you feel about if we took the back a lot shorter, but just not as short as the side? So it's like a very shorter version of this that you've got now. So you've still yeah. got a little bit, you've still got like texture through the back, but just enough that you can put some product in. Yeah. And then it's still got a little tiny flick at the bottom, but it's just not as in your face as well. Mm -hmm. The cut is straight. And then we can leave the sides. I can tidy the edges. I can maybe just, just tidy up the side bend, but leave a lot of length through here so it doesn't look as much of a contrast. Because I think the contrast comes from seeing scalp exposure. And I feel like if you show scalp exposure on the sides, no matter what we do at the back, it's going to look the same. Yeah. Just a short version. But again, it's down to you, whatever you would prefer to do. Like, do you have any, I, have you ever took any photos of any pictures of your haircut that you've, you've used as inspiration in the past that you'd like to maybe revert back to? Yeah, or? I think I've got one picture. Okay, let's have a um, look at it, yeah. So this is like one of the pictures I had, where it's like the back, I think it kind of does match it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But like what I was trying to do here was keep it a bit longer, but not as like crazy as now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I had in mind, but yeah. shorter than that, in fact, at the back. More okay. shorter here, through, through this, this bit yeah. here. So I was thinking like the sides staying as they are like as they are now and just tidying them up, mm -hmm. but then cutting the back and night like really short so that you've still got yeah. again maybe like you can well, probably like maybe you've just got enough to put your your fingers through it and move it around, yeah. and then that way you've still got the little bottom like very natural bottom yeah, as well. Good, yeah. and then all right, well, it, well we'll 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 stay on that idea for now. Cool. What are you thinking of doing with the top? Um, so, yeah. So the thing with like keeping the back long is that like the back kind of sides get quite long in it, like from the front I don't really like it. Yeah. Um, comes out, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. Like pops out a lot. Okay. Um, I guess, like, yeah, keep it like, I want to keep it messy and like textured, just mm -hmm. so it's like kind of low maintenance. Yeah, yeah, um, okay. But a, quite a bit shorter as well. How much shorter are you thinking? How, would, how, um, would you, how much would you be comfortable taking off? Put, use your fringe as an example. How, how much would you want that to hang over your fringe? Like, up to like here, maybe. Oh, okay, just below the eyebrows, yeah? Yeah, oh, cause, like, it does like, it's, it's not like, because I don't know, it's kind of like, like not wavy, but like it's got a it, bit of a kink in it, though, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's got it's got a little bit of a, a slight wave at the end. Yeah, is it like that when it's shorter as well? No, so like yeah, so when it goes shorter, it often goes shorter than it like looks. Yeah, so of like, course. Yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah, I get that. A lot I get of the that. times when I go to the barber, is it like after the cut it looks a lot shorter? Yeah, than yeah. It, okay, yeah, cool. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think this look is perfect. I've actually got a, pro, uh, a couple of products in mind there that I think would be good as well because the way you want it to be quite messy in texture, I think you need something that's got like movable. And, and that kind of workable pro uh, pliability to it as well. And we've uh, we've partnered up with um, Slick Gorilla, and I think I'm going to use this one on your hair today. I don't know if you ever used Slick Gorilla before, but you, you've probably seen them everywhere. Yeah, yeah. they are they're so well known now. This is called Light Work, right? So it's like a cream, right? And you can work it and see, but it's completely completely pliable, right? And I just think for what you're trying to achieve at your hair texture, something along the lines of that style product. Now they've got powders as well. They've got their yeah. that's probably the one you you know yeah. most about, but. That one would be better for your hair, okay. I think, because I think with your hair being that kind of coarse texture, you need a bit of a product, like a creamier product to really bring that out. So I think I'll, fi I'll start with that, and I will probably finish with, I might just pop a little bit of, maybe a little salt spray into dry in as well, just to give you a little bit more hold as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that'll work really well. I think it'll be a very, very good balance to the hairstyle. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right, man, let's give it a shampoo and condition, yeah. and then uh, we'll get started, all right? Thank you. Right guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to Slick Gorilla because they sponsored this video. Now they sent us a range of their products to use for today's video. So guys, this is our, our little package of goodies. Now as you can see, we've got the Slick Gorilla hairspray, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure every single person knows what that is, uh, the hair styling powder. We've also got the uh, clay pomade, which I really, really like, by the way. And we've got the light work, which is what I'm wearing in my hair right now. And then we've got the sea salt spray. They've been kind enough as well to send us a texture comb, which I think this is awesome. I've used one similar, but this is awesome. Really durable as well. And also a nice little travel bag as well to put your products in. So thanks very much for that, guys. So that's the products we've got, guys. And Slick Gorilla have also been kind enough to offer you a discount as well on any of the products you purchase through our code Regal15. So make sure on checkout to use Regal15 for 15% off your order. Uh, all the links are in the description below as well. So make sure you stay tuned to see how we use these products at the end of this video. Shampooed, conditioned. I'm gonna lower you down because you've grown and I look really <laughs> small. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna start off, like I said, I'm gonna section this all off into kind of break the head, the, the head down into, into smaller sections. Mm -hmm. That way I can tweak and tailor this a bit more to what we're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna start off by putting a, essentially a horseshoe section in to start with, just on the round of the head. So I'm going to the round of the head, right? I'm working it straight across. I don't want this to, sta to st I kind of want this to sit a bit flatter to the head. So I'm right on the, round of the head there, and I'm going to do a box section now. So I'm going to go straight across the top, like so. And then I'm going to go back into the recession point here as well. So this is allowing me to see the back and sides, but I'm also taking it quite high at the, the back as well, because I need to cut this all in. I need to cut this in from the sides essentially, right? So where have you been um, getting your hair cut then? Um, so like the most recent time I, I have been to a barber because uh, my sister was out of town, but normally I do just get her to cut my hair. Your sister? Yeah, so I've been doing nice. that for like like the past year, honestly. Oh, wow. So, so, so is, she, is she a hairdresser then? No, she's not. She doesn't no. work, so... Oh, yeah, okay. I just start off. Um, <laughs> Fair effect? Yeah, I've kind of taught her through what I've learned from your videos, so... No way. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's amazing. Yeah, no, it's great. That is brilliant. Right, so just section that off now. Okay. Right, I really need to see how this is working. So, I'm going to start by just cutting in the shape on the sides into the sideburns. All right, that's what I'm going to start off doing. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm not going to do a cross graduation. I'm actually going to do this just palm to palm because I think I want to keep, I want to really bring, I don't want to create more weight at the top up here. I actually want it to be a lot, a lot squarer. And I'm going to use the head shape to kind of uh, work on this one. That matches up to the clipper work there that was done recently. I'll bring that down. Okay, that sits nice and flat. And this is going to be used as my guide for the back as well. So I'm going to maintain the back at the bottom to make it look longer, but I'm going to take it down to sort of, like I said, like finger length almost. And have that as the kind of shape that we're sitting in. And the good thing is, as you see, his hair is very straight, but it's got a softness to it that it doesn't sit too spiky, which is great. Um, and I really didn't want that to happen. But I just knew that, you know, based on that little bit of wave and that little bit of curl he's got going on, I could get away with doing this. And again, you have to judge the hair as well, the hair type. You know, it is thick, but it's not as spiky as it could be. And I think that's why it falls quite nicely. See where all that length's being kept. And you'll hopefully notice what we're trying to achieve on it now as well. Right, so I've tried to take away that sort of taper effect, okay? But as I turn this around the edges, this is what will give that a bit more shape and a bit more creative uh, element to it as well. So from this section up, here, yeah, the last one I'm going to do, like so. I'm going to work on this technique, palm to palm, it allows you to maintain length at the bottom as well. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to point cut into this now. So again, I want this to be how it looks when it's styled. So I was going to do it blunt, I then have to go over and texturize it, whereas I can do it now and point cut in, and this will give me a nice finish. Uh, again, we're going for that kind of messy textured finish, right? So the more the more I can do, the better it will be overall. So that won't sit as smooth as the sides, but that's perfect. That's what I want, right? Don't want his hair to stand there. Think of the picture you showed me. It's all loads of weight here, and not a lot down the bottom. my fingers in slightly so you see I'm on this angle I'm almost following the shape of the head 
straight and now straight down. And you see more hair become to the bottom because the head dips in. You see, angling this in, like so, only slightly. I'm not going too round, I don't want to take the crown right off, but I do want to take it short at the top. This is the last section of my point cutting. Coming straight out now. So straight back into my club cut. Because this is the shape I guess you're going to see on the sides as well. that length on here, this bit here, so much longer than the other side. Because I followed the same guys, but look how much length came off that bit there then. And this is working into the taper. That's where we balance that out nicely. So again, instantly what we're doing here is we're doing something that has been a problem area for Kevin is the sides and the crown, it's quite big, but we're also putting a bit of a twist on the cut that he's come in with, that hopefully what we spoke about works, I'm sure it will, I'm sure you like it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy up the side bends, tidy up the neck here, and then I'm going to move on to working um, over the nape as well. So let me tidy this up a little bit now. just want this to sit a bit cleaner. So to finish on the neckline, I'm going to use the razor on this to get a really broken up finish. I still want to keep the length in there, not, not loads, but a bit. But I left some length at the bottom here so I could actually work on creating that finish that we need. So separating that away, I'm going to use the razor to get that nice natural finish. So that's why I got rid of the neck hair first to exactly see what I can get away with doing at the bottom. Side now, just do it again, just using this free hand. Make this kind of fall how I want it to. Place so hairline falls naturally. That way it balances and looks better that way, I find. And this is pretty similar to slide cutting with a scissor. Just doing it with the razor instead to really allow that flow. So again, I'll do loads of different textures and techniques here to get that really nice messy finish. And the razor will come as well to break the ends up even more.
you know, because the fundamentals and the foundations there that you can you can kind of do this sort of texturizing because when you've got the shape in this is just kind of the secondary shape this is the thing that's just going to make it fall very choppy and texture everything but because the foundation's there and the balance is there it's not going to look like he's just been hacked away with the razor the foundation's built is there to build the shape and then this just kind of adds on to it that's why i always find it quite good to learn the foundations first and then pick up the knowledge of other types of techniques after because you'll find it works really really well scissors just to give just a thin little bit out more let me just show you this kevin is what you had previous with all that bulk sitting up here mm. now you don't now you have more length at the bottom yeah so it sits in better do you see what I mean? Yeah. So you haven't got the contrast that you had it where it was fade on the sides or tapered on the sides, you just got a tidier finish. Yeah. But then when the product comes in, that's when you see it come to life a bit more as well. Do you oh, know what I mean? Yeah, it's nice. Cool, man, thank you. Right, let's put the top in then. So, like you said on the uh, the front, where would you like that to sit again? Because I'll use that as a guide first and we can use the fringe as our guide. Mm -hmm. So let me just comb this out. Now, do you want to show me again where that, where that sat yeah. best for you? So, like, are we talking like the wet hair, or, like when it's dry? Uh, just, just, uh, yeah. Well, where you'd like it to sit as it's dry if it was dry. If it was dry, maybe like yeah, right below like the eyebrows or like around the eyebrow. Around the eyebrow length. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just take a section, just two fingers away from the hairline, and this is just purely as a guide, okay? Because we're gonna cut the fringe and balance the fringe and be easier on anyway. I'm gonna take that much off. Because you want this to sit just on the eyebrows, okay? So as that dries, that's going to shrink a touch. And that will sit bang on the eyebrows when that's finished. I'm doing into the section down the middle. And I'm going to use the fringe. I want to follow the head shape on this because we're going for something messy. We're not going for something specifically like front heavy or anything like that at all. I just want the whole top a very nice textured finish. So I'm going to follow this on a profile section straight down the middle. I'm going to follow the shape of the head all the way around. What I'm going to do is have no heaviness at the front, so I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to leave any more weight at the front, all going to fall and flow. We use that on the section just behind it. There's the guide. And then we point cut into here. And this is where you'll see this creates like a guideline for us for the sides as well. And we just follow the shape of the head, right? There we go. So here's all that's coming out of the crown. As we saw earlier on when we cut the back, the crown doesn't come into play in this haircut because it's messy, it's textured. Right. There we go. So the top and the back will have a form of connection in there now. I'm going to work from the crown. Crown's in play. I'm going to use the guide from the middle, right there, to cut in here. Now I'm going to, again, follow the shape of the head. Making from the back, you can see I'm working to the front. Bring that out at the front. And again, following the guide from the left hand side, which will match everywhere that I need it to as well, like so. I'm going to point cut into that as well, because you want everything still to be nice and textured. So work straight up off the head. I'm taking off that corner. This is the bit that was making the head kind of almost like go outwards, if that makes sense. All that weight. All that length there. Oh, and it's gone. But the shape is still sitting in there nicely. She hasn't got all that wide length that was left. You had basically had a corner left in. That's essentially what you had left in. Alright? This all becomes really apparent when it's styled. Okay? There's my guide. Okay? So don't worry if you see loads of length coming off, remember, got a yeah. guide. We're following it. I'll watch the technique so I can teach my sister. <laughs> Mate, you'll have it on camera, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. You can show her. You don't need to remember it. I mean if she can just do like a step by step of this, mm -hmm. you, you know, that'll be perfect for you. I do also like cut my friend's hair sometimes. Do you? Yeah, so I do like when I get haircuts, I do like 
like I enjoy watching how they do it. And nice. Try, but it's definitely not like as technical as it should be. But, oh, okay. Um, yeah, just I mean, for fun. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not being that technical, really. Um, not compared to like if you watch like say some training videos, for example, mm -hmm. you'd, you'd notice it's very. Some some of them are very technical. I try and I always try and explain it in a way that is understandable to everybody. Yeah. You know, that isn't just like you know isn't overloading them with, with information do you know what I mean yeah, so that's yeah. the hardest bit is like when you get loads of information it's very hard to just remember isn't it at all you know and then put it into practice as well so I try and do things that are very kind of like you know easy to follow I hope well I hope I do yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I do in my mind I do so obviously you know Now with the razor, okay. you want this to be really, really nice and choppy and textured, right? So I'm going to do, start off with slide cutting, like we did at the back, and lay that all the way through, like so. Now just a little bit of uh, razor will come on the sides as well, just to get that nice choppy finish, like so, just to break them ends up a little bit. Work from the back to the front. Take a lot of blunt finishes through there as well to really thin this out. That's going to have a lot of collapse and a lot of thinning out as well. All right, what I'm going to do take some sporadic sections on a diagonal, right up, and I slide over to one side. Put the front up and just at the ends here I'm just going to slide in as well to the ends. So again if it goes up it looks nice and textured, if it lies down it looks nice and textured as well. There we go. It's really really heavily textured now. Alright so I'm going to use some of the Slick Gorilla uh, Sea Salt Spray. I'm going to work this into the hair on the top first, like so. I'm also going to work it into the front as well, just like that. And through the back, so you put your head down for me as well. And then just some all over as well. So, I'm going to do scrunch dry the nozzle to really bring out that texture through here. And this is where you'll probably start to feel it, Kevin, a little bit of grip off the salt spray as well. Yeah? Yeah. Feel it trying in. Yeah. And what you can see is all that texture that's bringing out in there. Okay. So I'm just working in a wave now. So working the brush straight on and just pulling it and twisting it downwards, right? And that creates a really cool wave in the hair, right? It's a good little technique to add in, right? You don't have to do it all the time. But I think when you've got super straight hair, the little bit of wave, this can really bring it out, right? And then, just scrunching like this. And that'll really bring out a kind of bend and movement in the hair, do you see? Yeah? yeah. And all you do then is emphasize that with uh, some of the light work as well. And when you're putting the salt spray in, the salt spray adds that kind of grip to the hair. So when you are using like a hairdryer or, or a brush or something, okay, the salt spray will help it rip to the hair and also make it basically a bit more textured. So it'll bring out everything that we've been trying to achieve before you even style it. So it's a good little base product. I always use them as base products, but it's great just to kind of have that little bit of a finishing technique, you know what I mean? Just that kind of base that helps you finish it off a little bit. Now I'm just going to dry the fringe up because I've already dried it down, so I'm going to dry it up a little bit and scrunch into it so you can have it messy up as well if you want. So you, just so it's messy all over, right? But it's coming out from the crown, that's the main thing, all right? It's a bit of light work. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of it on the back of my hand, here like that, right? And I'm going to put some 
into my hands as well. So I've got the back, and I've got the top, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the back first. Head down for me a second. And I'll work this from the bottom up into the crown. Like that. I'm gonna get it right in there first. This is application, this is not styling yet, okay? Purely application, okay? Here's the first bit, now I take the bit off the back of my hand, put that into the palm of my hand, and now here's the top, okay? So you're not wasting product, yeah, you're using yeah. just what you need, all right? And again now, working this into the hair. So again, application is not styling, we work it all the way into the hair. It's super dry, so you get that real natural, messy texture. It looks like, it's, sometimes it's very hard to make an effortless, an effortless haircut, uh, or an effortless hairstyle without putting too much effort into it, do you know what I mean? So again, I've put a bit of effort in with the blow drying, but the styling element is all there with the razor. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So you just do this and let it fall. And literally the messier, the, almost if you do this walking from room to room when you apply the product, more than just doing it in the mirror, you'll find that when you've finished, it looks like that. Yeah. And it's more effortless than you'll ever be able to make it because you'll tweak bits, you'll look, and if you do it in the mirror, you'll, you won't apply the product properly. You'll just, you'll be styling your hair whilst you're applying the product when actually you want to do the other way around. You want to apply the product, then style it. Yeah. So try and do it. Like say if you leave your products in like the bathroom or, the, or your bedroom, Put the product back of your hand, palm of your hand, and just kind of do it as you're walking from your bedroom to your bathroom, and just work it, you work the product into here. Then when you get to the bathroom mirror, then see if you need to style it. Yeah. That's the best bit of advice I can give you, because you're not gonna get it looking that messy if you're gonna apply it and style it at the same time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's the kind of finish you left with. So you've got a balance on the sides and the back, right? But you've still got that little bit of length at the bottom, okay? Yeah. Uh, if you want to just hold this mirror for me a sec, you'll be able to see it better this way. So if I show you this. So here is the back. So I want you to use that mirror to see yourself yeah. in the mirror behind you, okay? You see that? Yeah. There's the shape you've got in there now. So that original shape you showed me was very heavy here mm -hmm. and then quite short at the bottom. I've done it the other way around. Yeah. So it's, it's, all this, it's pretty much all the same length to get to the bottom, then this little bit here is a tiny, tiny bit longer. But what it does, it doesn't show too much of a contrast to the sides. The sides look short, but they're not out of balance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're all, in, they're all in a balance. And then you've got all that movement and texture, as you can see. Just run your hands through it and it'll just fall however you want it to. Yeah, well. You know what I mean? Same on yeah. that side as well. So again, you've got that balance on both sides. So you haven't got that huge, massive bit of hair on the side, on the corners, yeah, on the crown. Yeah, yeah. It all just falls like that. And that's as effortless as you can yeah, get. No, it. I love that. It's cool, isn't it, man? Yeah, and like the, the natural finish with the razor at the bottom, I think, is really Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, yeah. And then obviously when you put a, a dry matte product in there, that just shows it off even more. So again, it's it's a good it's it combining the matte finish with your hair texture and the look you're going for, messy, matte all the time. Mm -hmm. Right, messy and matte go together perfectly well. Okay. Um I probably wouldn't, like, you know, if you had like if you only had a pomade in, in your in your uh, in your art and like your, your product range you probably wouldn't get this okay. out of a pomade. Do you know what I mean? So go for something like a clay or a mud or some, something that is like lightweight, mm -hmm. all right? Something on the lines of that, all right? There you go, mate. Oh. Looks nice, doesn't it, mate? Yeah. It'll be so much, honestly, you'll notice it more when you see the before and the after. Yeah. And not even just like, all right, you, you've, you've had a messy haircut for, for a while. You've gone for messy haircuts before. What I mean is what you'll be looking for and what you'll notice a lot more of as you, when this video comes out, you'll, it'll probably be a few weeks, so you'll probably notice that it'll, it'll have grown in a bit more. Yeah. What you'll notice when you see the, the finished look and the before and after is the shape of the haircut. What you came in with when it was big and wild here mm -hmm. is what you're walking out with with something that actually suits your face shape and works yeah. with your face shape. Do you know what I mean? That's the difference. And I think that's what you'll notice as well as it grows out. Yeah. But you'll see that on the video. You'll, you'll know the bits that your problem areas that you didn't like, you'll be able to see gone when yeah. you see the after. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's always the most interesting part. Yeah, yeah. Before and after, indeed, mate, indeed. There you go, buddy. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.